Good morning, Facebook. Get asked all the time by a lot of people. There's like this question about um, friends. How do I feel about having friends in the black game? I'll be very honest with you guys. I'm, I, I have been damaged when it comes to having friends in the black gay community. Um, I have a very, 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 very small circle of friends, maybe one or two people I deal with that are um, uh, in the black gay community. I have a lot of associates, but people I call friends over the years, I used to have a huge circle of friends. Now it's become very small. One of the reasons why I find in our community is a lack of love, trust, and respect, and too much jealousy and hatred for me. I never forget years ago in the early 90s, I was dating a guy. Now, I was dating this guy that I had met at the gym. And a decent looking brother, and I enjoyed his company, and I thought he enjoyed my company. And I was actually with my best friend at that time when I met this character. Um, everywhere I would go with my best friend, at the, you know, back then I was stupid. I was, my best friend was part of my life. So everywhere I went, I, I had him come and be a part, go places with us, travel with my partner. The guy I was dating, we went out of town a couple of times. Just there was a lot of stuff that we did together. And unbeknownst to me, little did I know, my best friend was actually sleeping with the guy I was dating at that time. So it would be me, my best friend, and the guy I was dating in the, in the going places, doing things. But behind my back, they were having sex. And I didn't know anything until the relationship ended. And somebody just so happened to tell me what was going on. And I said, and, you know, so it was kind of shocking to me. And when I confronted this guy about this, he laughed about it. Like, oh, it's no big deal. You guys aren't together anymore. But let me get this straight. You're my best friend. We doing everything together. Traveling, going places, doing all kinds of stuff. And you don't see anything wrong with having sex with the guy I was in love with at that time, my partner. So over the years, I found a lot of gay guys, their morals are just not, when it comes to stuff like that, this individual didn't have any problem with that. And not only did he have a problem sleeping with the guy I was dating, he was sleeping with all his friends' partners. So this was an issue with this individual. So I had to get rid of him. And it's unfortunate because the person ended up getting sick and he's still alive now, but he's not, very, he's not doing very well at all financially or health-wise or mentally. Um, in, in fact... The last I heard, he was bedridden and being taken care of by his mother back in Indiana. This is how bad off he was. He's a little bit older than me. But he was just someone you couldn't trust. But he wasn't the first person to do that. I had this problem over and over and over. Guys that I would like, that I was seeing, would somehow end up sleeping with my friends. And I would say, okay, now how did this come to be? Well, one of the reasons it came to be is because I allow my friends around my partners. I don't do that shit no more. There has to be distance. You got to separate the two. You cannot have your... It's unfortunate. But I would strongly suggest if you must have friends and you must have an entourage of friends around your partner, be careful. Be careful. But that wasn't the only issues I have with these gay guys. They just were loyal. Backstab and low down, talk about you like a damn dog, put all your business in the damn street. They did not know how to be a true friend. 
And over the years, I will admit it did cause damage. And for me, there's a form of irreparable damage when it comes to the overall black gay community and allowing someone into my life. I hate liars. If you can't tell me the truth about certain things and, and, and you're lying to me and you want to be a friend and I find out that you've been lying, you are X out. I don't want to be bothered. I cannot stand deception and lies because if you lie about certain things to you, somebody you're supposed to be friends with, it's just unacceptable behavior. I cannot have a friend in my life. And I find that the vast majority of black gay guys, they're so used to lying about their sexuality, lying about their sexual position, lying about what they do for a living, lying about how much money they got in the bank, lying about how much they paid for the pair of shoes on their feet. They lie so goddamn much they don't know when and how it's to even tell the truth. It's almost impossible. Because it's, they built a foundation of lies. Everything is a, is a lie. Everything is one big old lie. And when you find out the truth, you say, okay, so everything you've told me I had a friend for years told me his father was a college professor. That's what he told me for years. When his father passed away, and I was reading the obituary, this man's father was a mechanic at the college. He fixed the he fixed the cars um, for the college campus. So I guess cars that were owned by all the cars that were owned by the um, cars and truck work trucks owned by this university. His father was the auto mechanic. So why can he just tell the truth and say my father was the auto mechanic? I told him my father worked for U.S. Steel and couldn't read and write. Why would you try to create this fictional tale that your father was a college professor who was this important person at this college when he was actually just an auto mechanic? Which is fine. It's no big deal to me. I mean... I have a lot of, to be honest with you, I, I find that auto mechanics to be a, a wonderful career because that's a very complicated, very complicated way to fix all these cars. But for, for some reason, he felt the reason to lie about this and a lot of other shit. Lie after lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. I can't take these black gay guys and they damn lie. Every time they open up their damn mouth, a lie comes out their damn mouth. They don't know how to tell the truth. Like I said, the whole foundation, everything they built is based on a, a pack of lies. And I get tired of it. Tired of it. You can't be honest. You can't tell the truth. You, you, then you stand constantly stabbing you in the back, constantly trying to, to sleep with the person that you with. It just got to be a tad bit too much for me. So I learned to keep that circle of friends very, very tiny. One or two. I mean, one or two, that's it. People go, oh, also, let's go to dinner, let's hang out, let's go here, let's do that, let's go, oh, we're going to Cancun, you want to join us, we're going here, we're going to that. No, thank you. I appreciate the offer, but I'll pass. I'm not being mean or anything. I just have learned my lessons to keep my distance. I'm sure there are probably some great individuals out there who are not a bunch of lies who into a not. I'm sure there are probably are some great people out there. But for right now, for me, it's a no. I keep to myself. I keep my distance. It's better for my health and wealth not to be bothered with these gay guys. Because there's just too much drama, too many issues. And when you find the same problem over and over and over and over and over again, you begin to wonder, is it me or is it them? No, it ain't me. It's them. And I keep my distance. If you like my videos, click like, share with my family and friends. Love to read y'all's comments. Today I'm going to take a I'm going to shower and get dressed. And I'm out of here. Go out and enjoy your Monday. I'm out. Bye.